Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Some bats up there, is there? Hey, but. Uh, lots of bats. Oh, you can see the bats. Yeah. You can see the bats moving. But that's something I'll never forget. Fans, my own Buntak, Mangadanamaga. I'm not sure what good morning is and why. So, we're going to go to our cottage now for breakfast. Take the scenic route, walk across the little ponds. So, we're going to be here in cottage number three today for our breakfast, which is ready. Finish our breakfast and we're gonna go out on a boat in a little bit. Isabella's still tired. We shared a room last night, Jane and Isabella and myself. Isabella told me not to snore. Guess who snored? Yes, I did. <laughs> but also Isabella snores. Jane had it from both sides. Not very good for Jane, I'm sorry, my darling. So this is our first vacation of sorts since we came back to the Philippines, since we moved to the Philippines even. First time we left Leyte and this isn't gonna be the last. This is in some ways like a like a trial run for when we go to Manila and other places beyond. This is a really beautiful place. People will climb up the tree to get the coconuts. There's a cave up ahead. Kalawayan cave. You yeah, can go in the cave. Oh, is it? Yeah, ask for a guide. There's a guide. Oh, oh. Puede. Oh, oh. Isabella. Yeah. Helmets. Helmets, yeah. yes. In case of fallen rocks. Is this put on right? Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah. Do I look Bob stupid? Bob the Builder. <laughs> 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 We are above the builder now. So we're going to go into the caves now. We've got our hard hats to protect our heads. So here we go. Just hold them to the sat handrail. Yeah, we're wearing them. Oi, this is scary. Addy, don't use it. This one kills me. Not that heavy. Man, you're wearing heels. I'm not wearing heels. <laughs> Oh, I'll get this cave. So we're inside the caves. You okay, Isabella? Hopefully. I'm <laughs> not really planning this because. This is just after breakfast. We, we went for a run there now. Darling! Yeah. Okay, so we're inside the caves. Some bats up there, is there? Uh, lots of bats. Oh, you can see the bats. 
Yeah. You see the bats moving. It's okay, you can do it. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to wear the helmet forever. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So that was a bit impromptu. We just went to check out the cave and a guide was there. So we picked up the helmets. I went all the way through. And look at me, I like a mess. My hair, my beautiful hair, what's happened? <laughs> really stressing because the helmet really like, it really compresses your head and it stops your, stops the airflow. That's my excuse anyway. Jeans were not exactly wearing the right footwear for that sort of thing. That's a good experience. That's what holidays are made of, what vacations are made of. So that was something really worth doing, really worth doing, especially near the top. You can see absolutely tons of bats flying around. Ah, glad we did it. Probably not right this very moment, but it's good to do it to try new things when you're on vacation. <laughs> Did you injure? No, but I fell quite far. My friend grabbed my arm. I would have gone down a big cavern. Really? It was, I'm not sure exactly where it was, somewhere in the UK. Um, but the caves were extremely, extremely tight. There's one called a drain pipe and it's literally, you can't move your arms and legs. It's that tight. You literally got to shuffle your body down it. And it's pitch black. All you got is a little light on top of your helmet. And if that breaks, then you're in complete darkness. I didn't really like no, claustrophobic. Just, yeah, that's it. Yeah, when I did it when I was a schoolboy, it was it was an experience to say the least. I was probably about 13, 14 years old by Isabella's age. And we went caving as a school trip. And me and my friends, we stupidly went ahead of the guide, went right to the bottom. And at the very bottom, there was a pit which was about 10 foot down. No way to get out by yourself. If you fell by yourself, you're pretty much stuck. But to help each other out, jump up, grab the arms, pull them up, and on the way back up, I slipped down this rock. It was like that, very smooth, very steep. I started to fall. It would have been a 20 foot plus drop. Luckily, my friend saw me, he grabbed my arm. He saved my life. Had I fallen, I wouldn't have died, but I'd have broken bones, maybe my back, maybe my legs wouldn't work anymore then it's impossible almost to get taken out of that place. Very difficult rescue when you're injured in a small cave where there's not enough room to get the equipment down. But that's something I'll never forget. I don't have a fear of caving, but I wouldn't want to do that sort of caving ever again. What we just did, it's nothing of the sort. It's very easy to do. It's quite relaxing even. Apart from being a bit warm, a bit hot, it's something to experience, definitely. So, just had a bit of a swim. Now we're gonna grab some lunch. We need to pick up another lot of vouchers, as each day you'll stay at the hotel to give them vouchers for breakfast, swimming, and a boat journey. Of course, you can go back to the caves and explore if you want. Maybe, maybe if I'm dressed more appropriately next time. It's always nice to travel in the Philippines, try new things, find new places. You never know what you're gonna like until you try it. Mm. Here comes Sammy, that's big. Wow. <laughs> Here comes Isabella's sandwich. Our sandwich. It's just a show is that one. I'm joking. <laughs> Thank you. That's big for one, isn't it? That's quite right for two. If you have additional order here, I can get personal and service. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Being on holiday, on vacation, what does it mean to you? It's something that a lot of people do, maybe once a year. Some people were lucky to have two or three or four even. But for us, this is our first in over 12 months. Even though we don't work anymore and we're living in the Philippines, it's one thing to be a traveller, a tourist, another thing to be living, it's not quite the same, is it? Yeah, although we are retired early, doesn't mean that um, we're just stuck. It's not really a permanent holiday though, because we still have a lot of things we do day to day. We haven't altered our life too much from when we were in the UK. Obviously, we can do a lot more outside now, we can grow, we can do so much. 
we can enjoy, we can relax, have so much more time. But we don't live like one holiday every day. And that's the key really, when you live into a budget, you have to stick to your budget. The cost of living has gone up over the last 12 months, definitely. Fuel prices, they started to drop now in the Philippines, luckily, thankfully. But generally everything is much more expensive than it was 12 months ago. It's no different to when we were living in the UK though. Things went up in price quite regularly. You have to budget, you have to plan, you have to make sacrifices when you need to. But we're happy and we can stick to our budget. And we are sticking to our budget. It also allows us little treats like this, little getaways every now and then. So we're gonna check out the boat. Go for a boat ride even. The yellow one or the red one? Hello. Ah, the red one, thank you. Uh, you come on first. <laughs> the crafts. Yeah, it makes you get a life jacket. <laughs> Sink. Yeah, but if I fall in, I'm going to stink because this ain't enough. It's into shore. Oh, my legs. <laughs> my legs are numb. Numb. <laughs> Thank you. Right, one at a time, right. Take off the light jacket first. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. you. Okay, here we go then. Why? Oh. You're tipping the whole boat over. I'm tipping the whole boat? <laughs> yeah, I'm already. All right. <laughs> Come on, out you go. You always right, is. <laughs> Just jump. If you wait now, you'll get your. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold your hat. Come on. Yeah, yeah, All right. I don't okay. have to jump. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. We're back. Legs are a bit wobbly. It's a really nice ride. 30 minutes. It is comfortable, I show on the boat very comfortable and it's very nice to see all the little islands. Oh wow, that was great.